If your goal is developing impressive, well-built arms, it's crucial to focus on growing your triceps. In today's video, I will discuss three essential exercises that when incorporated into your training routine, will significantly boost your tricep growth. Welcome back to another video. I'm Brendan Martinez. I'm currently getting my doctorate in physical therapy. Now, before we jump into the three exercises, let's do a quick anatomy review so we better understand how our triceps are made up. Your triceps consist of three heads. You have the medial or inner head, the lateral or outer head, and the long head. The long head is the largest of the three, making up roughly two thirds of your triceps as a whole. Additionally, it crosses the shoulder joint, which aids in shoulder extension. And this information is essential because incorporating shoulder extension into our tricep training will engage the long head even more. And now that we better understand how our triceps are made up, let's jump into the three exercises. And starting off the list, the first exercise is close grip bench press. The close grip bench press varies from the traditional bench press for two main reasons, the movement pattern and the muscles that are emphasized. This variation puts emphasis on the triceps. And this exercise is amazing to incorporate progressive overload which in my opinion makes it one of the best tricep exercises. Close grip bench press also carries over to your flat bench press, since your triceps are also a primary mover in that exercise. Now how do we properly perform this exercise? First thing we need to do is choose the ideal hand grip. Now I prefer to place my hands on the inner knurling, but hand grip for this exercise is completely individualized. But you'll know you have the correct grip when your triceps are on fire. Then before we lift, make sure your shoulder blades are retracted, lift off the weight, and lower the bar to your chest. And the bar should contact slightly lower than a normal flat bench press. Now some common areas that we want to avoid with this exercise include elbows flaring out, and doing this will shift the load off the triceps and more to the pecs and the anterior deltoid. Not having an appropriate grip, which most of the time the grip is too wide, once again shifting the load to the chest. And the last one is going too heavy. Lots of people love to ego lift, especially when it comes to any bench press variation. And this will ultimately lead to a breakdown in technique. Lower the weight, throw your ego out the window, and focus on form because you'll get so much more out of it. Now in terms of volume, we're going to be performing sets of 8 to 12 reps because studies show that this is the ideal rep range to build muscle. And as for the sets, we're going to perform 3 to 4 sets total. And this volume is going to stay the same for the other two that we go over as well. And now jumping into the second exercise, we're going to talk about cable tricep kickbacks. This exercise is the only isolation exercise that made the list meaning it will only target the triceps. The benefit of this exercise is the fact that we're placing our shoulders in an extended position, which like I mentioned earlier, it will bias the long head of the triceps even more. And the reason I prefer the cable column over dumbbells for this exercise is because the cable column will provide constant tension throughout the entire range of motion. Now with dumbbells, the tension is gonna vary throughout the exercise. Some parts will be easier and some parts will be harder due to the line of pull of gravity. Now, how do we properly perform this exercise? The first thing you wanna do is bend at the hips so your torso is almost parallel to the ground. Engage your core and your head, neck, and spine should all be in a straight line. Then extend your elbow and you can incorporate slight shoulder extension with this exercise if you want to work the long head just a tiny bit more. And as for common mistakes we want to avoid, you don't want to flare your elbows out. Keeping our elbows tucked is ideal and this will keep the tension on the triceps. The other common mistake is moving your elbow and this should stay fixed throughout the entire movement. When it's moving, you're using momentum to assist the triceps and you're ultimately getting less out of the exercise. And once again, we're gonna perform three to four sets of eight to 12 reps. And for the last exercise of this video, we're gonna talk about dips. Dips, in my opinion, are the best exercise for growing your triceps. There is no other exercise that you can load all your body weight except the close grip bench press, which is a close second. And dips hit all the boxes as it improves muscle growth, strength, and power. Another benefit is you can change whether you bias your chest or triceps depending on your trunk position. When you lean your trunk forward, you'll primarily be working the chest. Whereas when your trunk is more upright and your elbows are more tucked, you'll primarily work the triceps. Now when integrating dips into your training routine, I would highly recommend using a dip assist machine if it's your first time, just so you can focus on form. Now when you're performing dips to bias the triceps, once again, we wanna keep our torso nice and upright, keep our elbows tucked, and you're gonna control the descent and try to aim for 90 degrees of elbow flexion, then press back up. Now if this is still too difficult, we can perform tricep dips on a bench, which is a great alternative when you're first starting out. Now once again, ideally we wanna aim for that eight to 12 rep range, however, I know that's not very realistic when we're first starting out. Now, a more realistic goal is starting with sets of four to five reps, then increase as you can tolerate, trying to work up to eight to 12 reps. And if you implement all three of these exercises into your training routine, I promise you, it's going to skyrocket your tricep growth and you're finally gonna start seeing results. And having big triceps is only half the equation to having big arms. So you need to watch this video that's popping up here it will go over three tips that will accelerate your bicep growth, which is essential if you want well-developed and sculpted arms. 